All right, hi again, everybody. We've got the Cubs at the Mets here today for the first game of a doubleheader. This is June 17th, 1962, and uh, we keep moving along in this project. We'll take a look at the standings. Here in the National League, the uh, Dodgers with a five and a half game lead over the Mets. Dodgers have won one in a row, seven and 10 their last 10, and the Mets uh, three in a row, seven and three, I'm sorry, their last 10, same as the Dodgers, seven and three, not seven and 10. We'll go over to the American League quickly. The uh, Twins with the nine and a half game lead and they've won nine in a row and they're going to be hard to catch. And so we'll come back here to this one. It's Lou Brock uh, who's going to be hitting against Ron Darling. So here we go. Here come the Mets hoping uh, to start whittling away at this lead and having this doubleheader will help. 12.35 starting time and there's a ball low to uh, Brock, 1-0. Turns to Bunt, misses that one, 1-1. One and one. And that's fouled away. One and two now the count on Brock. Darling, uh, 71 and a third pitched. Uh, he has a six and one record with a 2.65 ERA. Brock, by the way, he has struck out a total of, uh, how many times has he struck out this season? Just trying to take a look and see if it's gonna tell me. And um, it's not gonna tell me much information about what he's doing during the replay. So we'll forget about that. One and two the count and there's a swing and a miss and down he goes. So there's a strikeout for Darling and there's one away. Here now Billy Williams. Williams hitting 245 this season uh, with uh, four home runs. He takes a ball low. And there's another ball low, 2 and 0. Oh. Tell you, the uh, little box here on the side is what I was looking at there. And um, it's a little bit frustrating because it shows me his stats for last year, his career stats. That's not helpful. His real stats, which is also not helpful. The season stats are limited and you can't change it. So. Um, Another frustration with OTP. I've had a lot of these. I was talking with somebody on Reddit who was a beta tester and complaining about some of the real problems with the game. 3-0 the count. And he's swinging 3-0. Hits a fly ball up over to left. And Mookie has that for the out two away. George Altman comes up now hitting 351. And he is still leading, I believe, the National League, but just by a hair. This is hit over left center and is going to hold up there for Lenny Dykstra. He makes the catch for the out. And so the Cubs go down quietly in the top of the first. We go to the bottom of the first inning and it's a uh, no score and here comes Lenny Dykstra. Dykstra has uh, about a billion stolen bases. He fouls Don Cardwell's pitch off. Cardwell with a 4.42 ERA and the 2 and 10 record and we like to beat up on him. 44 stolen bases so far for Dykstra and which is amazing. That's more than he had in real life in 86. One and one the count. And that one was up, and that was not much of a pitch. It's uh, belted deep to center, but Brock has room, and he makes the catch. One away. Here is Mookie Wilson. Wilson has 26 stolen bases already. He takes a curve low inside, and a ball away. 2-0. and So a lot of questions here about OTP uh, 24 stolen base system. 3-0 the count now on Wilson, and uh, how realistic it is to be able to uh, steal any time you want. And there's a strike in there. Three and one the count now on Mookie. Another one in there is a full count. A little ground ball tried to pull that one and hits it over to second. Hubs fields that and throws to first. Two away and here comes Hernandez. There's a ball low to Keith. One and oh. And another one low. Two and oh the count. Swing and a foul. Two and one. Blasted but foul. Two and two. Let's it over to the gap in uh, left center, but it will hold up, and Brock makes the catch for the out. And so the uh, Mets get nothing. We go to the top of the second, still no score. Here comes Ernie Banks. Banks hits the first pitch he sees over to left, golfs that one, and uh, Mookie's there, one away. Andre Rogers comes up now, hitting 235, and uh, there is a strike from Darling, 0 1. It's a little comebacker back to Darling, who feels that and throws the first for the out, two away, and here comes Ron Santo. There's a strike on the inside uh, corner to Ron, and he fouls one away. It's 0-2, just like that. And there's a swing and a miss on that one that was away, way out of the zone for strike three. And so we go now to the bottom of the second inning, still no score. Here comes Strawberry. Darrell, of course, has struck out 77 times this season. Um, he also has 13 stolen bases, which makes him fifth in the league. So the rest of the league is stealing at a realistic rate. One and one the count on Strawberry. It's just the Mets that are going nuts. This foul to the left side is one and two. Outside, two and two. Fouled away. Remains two and two. 
Outside, and he takes that one. Full count now on Strawberry. And that's blast to the left. That's going to be a base hit. So single there for Strawberry. He is not going to try. No, he will try for two, and he'll get that just barely. Digs in hard. Doesn't even slide on that one. Williams was late on the throw, and so that's a double for Strawberry, his 12th of the season. That'll bring up Gary Carter, runner on at second base. Carter with 41 RBIs takes the ball outside. Another chance for him. One and one as he swung on and missed at that, and there's a ball low. Two and one. Just barely fouled away. It's two and two. Fouled away again. This is hit over to right center field. Uh, right fielder Altman will make that catch. Strawberry tags up and advances to third. And he is safe. So uh, Ray Knight comes up now with one away and a runner on a third base. And it's Strawberry. And uh, there is a ball low tonight. 1-0. Another one low and outside. 2-0 the count. There's a strike to him, 2-1. Two and one. And he went on that, 2-2. Two and two. There's a ball away. It's a full count now on Ray. And he swings and misses uh, that fastball for strike three. Two away, and here comes Wally Backman. Backman, with 12 men driven in, takes a strike. And a ball way inside, 1-1. One one. There's another strike to him, 1-2. And, and this is hit over to left. That's going to hold up, I think. No, it's out of play just barely. 1-2 two and, one and two still the count. Barely fouled away by Wally. And it's high and outside, two and two. Misses inside, it's a full count on Wally. And that misses again, so Backman gets the walk. That will bring up Kevin Mitchell. It's Mitchell, by the way, starting at shortstop today. We haven't had an opportunity to tell you that. Mitchell takes the ball low and outside, one and one. Swing and a miss, one and one now on Kevin. Another swing and a miss, it's one and two. That's outside, two and two. Hit to right center, and that's deep. Home run for Kevin Mitchell. 417 feet on that one. 3 nothing Mets. When Mitchell gets a hold of one, he tomahawks it. That baby didn't have a chance. 3 nothing Mets with the lead, and here comes Ron Darling. Two away still, bottom of the second. There's a ball that misses inside. Another one inside for a ball, 2-0. 3-0, and, oh. and, oh, and uh, Cardwell really with some problems. And there's ball four, and uh, that would have been a wild pitch probably if there was a runner on base. So Darling walks, and here comes Lenny. And he takes the strike in the inside corner, 0-1. Oh, and, and that's just low, 1-1. 2-1, one one. One. Lenny's going to make him pitch. Blasted over to right, that is in there for a base hit. That's a double for Dykstra, and uh, Darling's going to try to score on this. Here comes the throw home. It uh, hits the cutoff man, and his throw is uh, not in time. And so Dykstra with the RBI double. And it's a 4-0 lead now for the Mets. Here comes Mookie. First pitch swinging. He pops it up. That's going to end the fun. It'll be Santo making this catch for the out. And that does it, but not before the Mets get four runs on three hits. And so we go now to the uh, top of the third inning. It's 4-0 Mets. Here comes Ken Hubs for the Cubs. 2.43 is uh, what Tubbs is hitting. He fouls one away. And then takes a change of blow. 1-1. There's a strike called. Good curve. 1-2. It's hit over to left, but just foul. 1-2 still. Fouled barely over to the right. That's hit fair down the right field line. That's going to be in the corner, and that should be a double for Hubs, I believe. Strawberry picks it up, but um, it's far too little, far too late. So Hubs gets the double. That'll bring up uh, uh, Kuno Barrigan, and he takes a strike in the outside corner, 0-1, oh, and, and there's a ball inside in him, 1-1. One one. That's hit up the middle for a base hit. That's going to fall in front of uh, Dykstra. He fields that and throws it in. Great arm, and that keeps the runner at third. So Hubs has to stop at third. And here comes the pitcher, Cardwell, and uh, you better bet he's going to be bunting. So we're going to bring the infield in. Nobody out. And, uh, boy, the catcher, Berrigan, looking to uh, steal. That's a little bit odd. There is the bunt in front of the plate, and Carter fields it, throws over to uh, first for the out. Now there's runners on at uh, second and third with uh, only one out. We're going to just pitch to Brock. He takes a ball inside, 1-0. Another one inside, 2-0 the count. Head over to right. 
Easily playable for Strawberry, who has a good arm, and he releases right away. Hubs is coming home, though, and he's safe. Just barely beats that throw. Close, but safe. Aragon goes to third, and there's two away. 4-1 now mess with the lead. Billy Williams up there takes the ball high. Barely hits that uh, curve foul. 1-1. One one. Head over to right. That'll be out of play. 1-2. That just misses low. 2-2. Two and two. And that's a line drive, base hit, that gets through Knight, and that's a single that will score another run. It's now 4-2, Mets. Here comes George Altman. So, uh, Darling, uh, pitching well. There's a ball to Altman, and then suddenly falling apart here in the top of the sec uh, top of the third with the lead. 3-0 the count on George. There's a ball four. That was just barely low. I thought that was in the strike zone, so that'll bring up Bernie Banks. Another ball outside, five straight balls, six now. Seven straight balls. And there's finally a strike by Darling. Hit over to left and deep. But Mookie Wilson is able to go back and uh, catch that for the out. And so that does it. We go to the uh, bottom of the third inning. It's 4-2 Mets now. And uh, I tell you, the Cubs really starting to give you nightmares. Here comes Hernandez. And he takes the ball outside, 1-0. That's fouled away, 1-1. One one. This is not a good Cubs team, but uh, I don't think that anybody told Ron Darling. The count 2-1 uh, and one here in Hernandez, and there's a ball outside, 3-1 and one now. And there's a strike. It's a full count now on Keith. Barely fouled away. Fouled away again. That was ball four that he swung at and hit over to Hubs. The second baseman throws to first, and there's one away. Here's uh, Daryl again, and he takes the ball low. Strawberry, one for one today. Takes a strike. It's one and one. Fouled away. Should be out of play. That's out of play. One and two. Hit over to left. That's going to be a foul ball. One and two remains. Ground ball over to shore. Rogers throws to first in time for the out. Two away, and here comes Gary Carter. The ball away, 1-0. Oh. That's low, 2-0 oh the count. Foul away, it's 2-1. Ground ball to third. Santo throws to first, and they have Carter beaten by a couple of strides. And so we go to the uh, top of the fourth inning. It's still a 42 lead for the Mets. Here comes Andre Rogers. But we'll see if Darling can hold on to this. He's had trouble in the past. This is fouled away. It's 0-1. There's a strike in the outside corner. 0-2 the count. Strike. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. Third strike for Darling, but uh, don't be too fooled. That top of the third was not a thing of beauty. There's a strike to Santo. 0-1. And that misses inside. One and one the count. Swing and a miss. It's one and two. That's hit over to left, and uh, Mookie's going to be there for the catch. Two away. And here comes uh, Ken Hubbs, and he takes a strike. 0 and one. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and two. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. So the Mets uh, get out of that one. Two strikeouts there for Darling. And we go now to the bottom of the fourth inning. Still a 4-2 lead for the Mets. Here comes Ray Knight. Takes the ball low and in, 1-0. There's a curve outside, 2-0. That's low, 3-0 the count now on Knight. And he takes ball four, so he will walk again. That'll bring up Wally Backman. 4-2 lead, and uh, Backman takes the ball low and inside, and the ball away, so six straight balls for Cardwell. And he swung on that one, two and one now the count, and there's ball three. Technically eight straight balls, and uh, there's a strike, I suppose. That was uh, another ball, honestly, full count. Hit over to left, and that's going to be easily playable there for Williams, and uh, there's one away. Here now is Kevin Mitchell. Mitchell homer last time up, his second home run of the season. Hitting only 178, but he can hit it a long way when he gets a hold of it. Takes the ball inside, and a fastball low, two and oh. Little ground ball over to first. They uh, go to second for one. The relay, however, back to first is not in time. Mitchell hustling down the line to uh, break that one up. And so that brings up Ron Darling now with two outs and a runner on at first. And Darling takes the ball away. 1-0. That's low. 2-0. Oh. 
And this is just fouled away, two and one to count. Little ground ball over to uh, the shortstop, Rogers, who throws over to Hubs, and that's a horrible throw. Gets by Hubs, and that means that Mitchell is safe over at second base. That'll bring up Lenny Dykstra now. Two outs, but two on. Bottom of the fourth inning, still 4-2 Mets. Dykstra takes the ball low and away. Swing and a miss. It's 1-1. One one. There's a fastball for a strike. 1-2. and two. Curve just inside. 2-2. Two and two. Tid over to center. I think it's going to drop. And it will. Here comes Mitchell around to try to score. Brock, though, with a great throw to the plate, and it gets away from the catcher. So I guess it wasn't quite as played as it looked, and or as close as it looked, and uh, Berrigan ends up getting the air. Now, I think it is on Brock, actually. My apologies. It's a poor throw by Brock is what happens. And so uh, Dykstra reaches second and is now a 5-2 lead for the Mets. Here comes Mookie Wilson, and here comes Freddie Burdett to pitch for the Cubs. He has a 6.52 ERA. We've seen a lot of Freddie Burdett recently. Here comes Wilson, and he takes the ball high, 1-0. Outside is 2-0 now on Mookie, and that misses low, 3-0 the count. We'll have him take. There is a strike. Swing and a miss, full count. There's ball four he swung at, full count. Blast to the left, but that'll be foul, I think. Yes, foul ball. And that's inside, so Burdett loads the bases. Walks the first man he sees, and that'll bring up Keith Hernandez. Hernandez had a grand slam the other day, 55 RBIs, and he takes a strike, 0-1. Oh, and, and he swings that time, 0-2. Oh, There's a ball inside, 1-2. and two. Protect the plate, 2-2 two and two, now the count. 3-2, and two. is he going to walk him? I'm not sure what happened here. So another bug for OTP. Uh, I don't know what happened at the very end of that last inning. Uh, it probably take me a little bit too long to figure out how to get back and uh, figure out what happened. I'm assuming that Hernandez struck out. He made an out, or he made an out somehow. He doesn't. He's not credited with a strikeout. So OTP skipping yet another pitch. This is another bug to a report and. Um, I'm not very interested in using their bug tracker because they're going to want me to upload all sorts of things from the game. It's no one count in Berrigan. Uh, five to two Mets. Uh, there's a ball away. One and one. This is another one of those things that the game needs to fix. That's a major error. One and two the count. There's a ball high and inside. Two and two. Fouled away. Two and two. Fouled away again. Two and two. All the way again, two and two. That's a comebacker back to Darling, and he throws the first, and uh, Berrigan beats it out. That's one of those plays that I wish they would take out because you don't see that so much in real life of comebacker to the pitcher that the uh, runner beats out. But there you have it. So Berrigan is safe for first. We go to the double play of depth, and here's Alex Grammis. Takes a strike. It's 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, 0 and 2. The ball low, 1 and 2 the count. Inside, two and two. Way inside, so it's a full count. Blasted over to right, that's foul. Full count remains. Swing and a miss, and so down goes Grammis. Dykstra now five strikeouts, and here comes Lou Brock, and we will go back to double play depth. The Grammis for the Cubs, the new uh, second baseman. There's a ball high and a ball low, two and oh the count. There is a strike, two and one on Brock, and that's high, three and one the count. That's inside, so Darling has uh, walked uh, two now. And here's Billy Williams still with only one out, and Darling again showing signs of falling apart. And he throws a ball, though, to uh, Billy Williams. There's a strike, one and one. Hit foul over to uh, left field. I think Mookie might be there. No, it's into the crowd, one and two. Foul the way, just barely, one and two. Hit over to left, and Mookie's got this one for the out easily. There's two away. That brings up George Altman. And that's going to be a wild, or pass ball, I'm sorry. Pass ball there on Carter. That one ended up being booted up the first base line by him, and so uh, that means that uh, there's runners on second and third, and the question is to pitch to Altman or not. I think we will, and there's a strike, one and one. Swing and a miss. It's one and two on George. Change of just misses, two and two. That's low and in, full count. And that's inside again, so Darling has walked two this inning. 
And as those bases on balls that are getting him, he's uh, given up only four hits, but he's in trouble when he walks guys. And here comes Banks, who takes the strike, 0-1. Head over to right, and that should be foul, and that is 0-2. Ground ball over to third. Knight on to first. I'm sorry, on to second for the uh, force out, and that will do it. So uh, we go now to the bottom of the uh, fifth inning. It's a 5-2 lead for the Mets. The Mets get out of that bases loaded situation, and um, here comes Daryl Strawberry. And there is a ball low, 1-0 to Daryl. Outside, 2-0. That's going to be fouled away. Two and one now in Strawberry. Inside. Three and one to count. He'll take this. And there's a strike poured in there. Full count now in Straw. There's ball four. I'm not sure how that one missed. Burdett now has walked two. I guess that was a little bit low. And here comes Carter. Throw to first. Nothing happening. And there goes Strawberry. But this throw has him beat. And he's been thrown out. Trying to steal, so uh, one away, here comes Carter with a 1-0 count, and that's way outside, 2-0. Foul the way, trying to time that curve, 2-1. Ball inside, 3-1 the count. It's ball four outside, and so Carter has walked again, and that'll bring up Ray Knight. He takes a ball high from Burdett, and a ball low, 2-0. Burdett has walked three. Including the first man he faced. Swing and a miss. Three and two and one. And that's fouled away. It's two and two. Hit over to the left, but that'll be foul. And that's strike three. I don't know how you could take that one with two strikes. So two away, and here comes Wally Backman. There's a strike. Good sinker. A little comeback over to Burdett, and he throws to first in time for the out. And uh, that's all she wrote for the Mets in the bottom of the fifth. We go to the uh, top of the sixth inning. It's uh, still five to two Mets. Here comes Andre Rogers. Swing and a miss by Rogers, 0 and 1. And that's fouled away, 0 and 2. So uh, Darling looking a little bit better now. And there's a ball low, 1 and 2 the count. Inside, 2 and 2. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. Six strikeouts now for Darling. But against three walks, one away here is Santo. There's a strike to Santo, 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. It's hit over to right, and that one is just foul. Good thing. That's another foul ball over to right. That curve misses inside, 1-2. and two. Foul the way again. That's low, so two and two now the count. Low again, it's a full count. Swing and a miss, got him to go. Seven strikeouts now for Darling. Two away, and here's uh, Freddie Burdett, top of the sixth. He hits this one over to right, but that'll be foul. 0-1 oh, on the pitcher. Interesting that Burdett's staying in this game. 0-2 oh, as he swings on that one and misses. And he went around that time, there's strike three. And so we will go now to the uh, bottom of the sixth inning. It's uh, still a 5-2 to two lead for the Mets. Here comes Kevin Mitchell to lead this off. This is fouled away. 0-1 oh, the count. There's a ball low. 1-1. One one. Low again. 2-1 the count. Swing and a miss. Man, Mitchell looked bad on that. It's 2-2. Two and two. And uh, he chased after that one for strike three. One away, and here comes Darling again. He uh, stays in this game. Swing and a miss by Ron, 0-1. And, and this is hit over on the ground to short. Uh, Rogers grabs that, throws to first. Two away, and here comes Dykstra. He's two for three. There's a ball low to Lenny. And that's on the inside corner, 1-1. One and one. Inside and misses, 2-1. and one. There's a strike. Good sinker, 2-2. Two and two. Fouled away. Fouled away again. Still two and two. Ground ball over to third. It'll be Santo making that play and throwing to first for the out. Well, that takes us to the top of the seventh inning, and it's still a 5-2 lead for the Mets. Here comes Berrigan. Two for two today. Takes a ball low. I feel like he hits as well. He's hitting only 189, but he always seems to be on base against us. Two and knows the count on him. 
There's another ball low, 3-0. He's going to be on base again here in a second. There's a strike, 3-1. and one. And there he is. Fourth walk given up by Darling. But Darling has struck out eight but walked four, and it's those base on balls that make you want to go nuts. The game tells me he's hot. Giving up those walks is not hot. There's a fall, foul ball to the right side, 0-1-1. Another foul ball, 0-2 the count. Hit over to right and deep. Strawberry, though, with room, and he makes the catch for the out, and uh, there's one away. Lou Brock up there now. He definitely is cool. Brock today, um, 0 for 1. I guess he walked a couple times, twice. 0 and 1 the count, now 0 and 2. Strike three. And there's a strike 3 called in the inside corner. I'm surprised it was called strike 3. Strike on number 9 for Darling. Two away, and here's Williams. He'll take a fastball low and away. And then swings and misses a one. One and one the count. Foul the way to the right side. And it's one and two. And so Darling's got him set up. Did not go around on that one. Two and two. But he went around that time. Tenth strikeout for Ron Darling. And uh, we'll go now to the bottom of the seventh inning. Mets with a five to two lead. Here comes Mookie Wilson. Got the ball low to Mookie. Swing and a miss. It's one and one. That's outside. Two and one the count. Fouled away. It's two and two. Ball three. Full count now on Wilson. That's outside. And so Wilson gets the walk. And that once again will bring up Keith Hernandez. And that brings up a pitching change. It'll be Bob Anderson coming into pitch. 6.48 ERA. 33 and a third pitched. One and one is his record. Giving up 55 hits in those 33 and a third innings, so we should expect to uh, run around the bases a couple times here, I would say. Mets with only four hits so far. The Cubs also with four, but the Mets with uh, three more runs. Five to two Mets. So Wilson on at first, and uh, we'll see what happens here. There he goes. Berrigan can't uh, get that one out of his glove. Wilson with the 27th stolen base of the season, and he's on second now. Owen won the count on Keith. There's a ball inside. It's one and one. Fouled away. One and two now. Misses inside, two and two. That's low, full count on Hernandez. Ground ball over to first, and Banks grabs that one, goes to the bag himself. Wilson over to third, there's one away, and here comes Strawberry. There's a strike of the knees, 0 and 1 to Darrell. Swing and a miss, it's 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, and now he goes, so Strawberry strikes out once again. Two away now, and here's Gary Carter. There's a ball outside to Gary. Swing and a miss. It's a one and one. That's blasted deep to left. That's out of here. Williams looking up at that one in vain. So around comes Carter. Another home run for him. And for Gary Carter, now 14 home runs. It's a 7-2 lead, and here comes Ray Nine. Williams just stared up at that one and had nothing that he could do with that. There's a strike called in the outside corner tonight, 0-1. There's a ball low, 1-1 one one now to Ray. And he goes after that one and tries to pull it, hits a ground ball over to short. That'll be easy there for the shortstop, uh, Anders uh, Rogers, sorry, who throws the first for the out. But the Mets do it. We go to the uh, top of the eighth inning. It's a 7-2 lead for the Mets, and Gary Carter had that big home run. Here's George Altman, and uh, Darling stays in there. There's a ball low, 1-0. And, oh. and that's fouled away, 1-1 one one the count. Swing and a miss, 1-2. Hit over to right. Strawberry runs out of room. 1-2 it remains. Ground ball that's back to Darling, and he fields it, throws the first, one away. Here's Ernie Banks. He hits a ground ball over to the uh, left side, and uh, Knight fields it, but throws the first, and that's off the mark. Hernandez had to go off the bat to get that one, and so Banks uh, reaches on the air. First air of the game against the Mets, and uh, that brings up Andre Rogers. We go to double play depth, and there's a strike at the knees. Rogers today is 0 for 3. It's a ball high, 1 and 1. And that's going to be a wild pitch. We've seen a pass ball and a wild pitch in this one. Banks goes to second. Two and one the count. Ground ball to first. Hernandez fields that and goes to the bag himself. And Banks goes to third. Two away and here's Santo. 
He'll hit a fly ball over to left. It's going to be easy for Wilson, and uh, Mookie makes the catch for the out. And so the uh, Cubs go down. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. It's a 7-2 to lead for the Mets, another comfortable lead against Chicago. Here comes Backman. He takes the ball low. It's uh, still Bob Anderson on the mound. They're going to stick with this guy. Weird pitching ro ro uh, motion. Also strange animation. Looks like he's throwing with his glove. 2-0 the count. Now 3-0 is that misses low. There is a strike. 3-1. and one. There's another strike. It's a full count. So Backman not wanting to swing. And he hits this one over to second. Hubs feels that and throws to first. I'm sorry, Grammis feels that. Throws to first. One away. Here comes uh, Kevin Mitchell. And there's a strike. Knee high outside. That got in on him, and he hit this one deep to center, but it's going to be playable for Brock. Near the track, but he makes the catch. Two away, and here's Darling. He will hit for himself, and the crowd uh, cheering his performance. Another fly ball over to center, and Brock makes this catch for the out. And so we go to the top of the ninth inning. It's a 7-2 lead for the Mets. Here comes uh, Brutel, a pinch hitter for the Cubs, who uh, takes the ball low, hitting 3-10. Darling looking for another complete game. It's a comebacker to the mound. He throws to first, and there is one away. Berrigan up there, two for two today. It's a ground ball over to Mitchell, who throws to first for the out, and there are two away. Here is Don Landrum, the, another pinch hitter, and it's the final chance. He takes the ball outside. Another one outside, 2-0. and oh. Darling is in the red territory, 136 pitches, and there's a strike, 2-1. and one. And that's low. Three and one the count. So, Ron, you don't want to be too fine with it. And there's a ground ball over to short. And uh, Mitchell is eaten up by that one. He fields it, throws to first, but not in time. And that'll bring up Lou Brock. Runner on at first, but of course it's a five run lead. There's a ground ball to third. And Knight fields that one, throws to first, and that does it. So, uh, Ron Darling with the uh, masterful game, despite those four walks, if I remember right, 10 strikeouts. And uh, the uh, Mets win this one. Uh, 7-2 to two, the final score. Only five hits for both teams, so it was not a high hitting affair. And the Mets with the victory. So uh, that hopefully will help us a little bit against the Dodgers. Uh, we'll see um, tomorrow with the next uh, chapter of the doubleheader. And um, I'll talk with you then. We'll take care, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.